Hello and welcome to the Katain League Spring 2021 Week 4 EFM Action. My name is MCD and I am here joined by Yabagai, and we will be guiding you through another tense mashup. This week it is Procyon vs. Asu 54321. A reminder, if you've never played Katain before, stop watching this video immediately and hop on over to keeptalkinggame.com to learn about one of the best asymmetrical co-op party experiences out there. Hop on into our Discord as well to join the fun at discord.gg slash k-t-a-n-e. With that being said, Yaba, um, I know you are being list man tonight, uh, so how are you feeling about these matchups? Do you, like, have a favorite to win? Um, no, because considering they've both been on good form here, uh, Sue 54321, let's see here, a loss in week one, but since then undefeated, and Procyon undefeated all the way, so two high-ranking People in your group, MCD. Yeah, it is my I group. This will be a great matchup. It will be fun to watch indeed. Now, you were talking about lists here, and we're going to start... Uh, I'll explain the format, actually, at this stage. Just remember, who this is a three-bomb match, and whoever defuses the bomb with more time left on the clock or disarms more modules than the other in case of explosion wins the bomb, and if both explode on the same solve count, the bomb is a draw. And we start with Procyon having the advantage, so I thought before Bomb 1 we might as well discuss their modules. Yeah. We've got, we've got Bridges, Cruel Countdown, Crystal Maze, and Langton's Ant, Lasers, Life Iteration, Masu, Quintuples, Red Cypher, Schlagden Bomb, Simon Sins, Simon Stores, Tax Returns, 10 Button Color, oh, 10 button color Code, sorry Jerry, and <laughs> Unfair Cypher. Asu took away Cruel Countdown and Simon Stores, but to me, it seems like a very cerebral list. Yeah, for me, I noticed that like a lot of them are actually something you could do as a solo without a manual. Um, I know, for example, Bridges, Masu, Cruel Countdown if it wasn't vetoed. Um, what else is on there? Um, I'm missing something. Tax uh, returns. Just tax quick. returns, no. Uh, <laughs> but Asu is very confident in his tax returns as well, as I believe it's also on his list. That's uh, correct. Yeah, so. so it'll appear either on both of the first bombs or neither, if I remember that correctly. It's a subtle rule of this league. Indeed it is. Uh, so, um, mm -hmm. with that being said, we're going to be taking a look at Procyon's bomb first. You're going to see seven of their modules, three of Asu's, and one of our staff picks. This week, I believe, what were our staff picks in week four? Were they all puzzles or were they interactive? Uh Week four modules were Colorful Insanity, Curse Double O, Encrypted Equations, Game of Life, Cruel, and Jewel Vault. One of those five will appear. Ah, so uh, none of the above. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that being said, we have three bombs in front of us, and we got a timer on the clock and some strikes to count and some solves to see. I'm ready if you are, Yado. Shall we get going? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's rock. All right, and we're going to be hearing audio from Procyon. And as the lights come on, we see them taking down their edge work. Oh, except Asu's going to shut down the uh, computer real quick. Make sure not to hit that OK uh, uh, button on the on the close button, literally. It's a pop-up ad, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pop-up ad. It will always strike you, I believe. Asu has the close button on his list, so he's very aware of that, as is Planet's. And I don't know what the other module is off his list. Planets Didn't being a solve-based module, um, it's a lot easier if you usually solve it for zero solve, so it's good that Asu's not getting out of the way um, early on. Um, While well, Procyon's taking a look at Red Cypher, which could possibly be a long while to do, just because of the complexity that it entails. Max Returns has a timer, but if I recall correctly, is it not 15 minutes long? Am it's I 15 minutes, that? so you'll just get a bonus strike as you explode from time explosions. <laughs> At this rate. <laughs> that's Red Cypher on the list for Procyon. That's their only colorful cypher, but they also would have had unfair were it not vetoed away. Oh, hello, we got some answers coming in here. Asu's already got... Um one solve in it being planets. Procyon yeah, not going for the planets for zero solves. That could be interesting uh, as both of them are now attacking the Masu. Um, Masu, Masu. Yeah. I suck at, I suck at Masu. I just can't do it. <laughs> A sure doesn't, though. He just took the lead. Oh, yeah, he did. Module listening. There's the final one off of Asu's mm -hmm. list, which is actually his own module. 
module listening is an interesting one because it's a sort of meta module of sorts. Knowledge of all the other modules in the game is borderline essential in order to identify all the sound effects from which these modules come from. Yeah, if Procyon does make it to that, we will hear all the different sounds being input, and Nasty's already going for a solution, I see. 20 inputs, 5 per button, that's why the first one lit up the moment he did that. Looks like we're seeing Colorful Insanity as the staff pick here. Um, that Ooh. one's just fun, in which you have to discern which one is the duplicate symbol, and then follow a bunch of rules to figure out which ones to press. Colorful Insanity was, uh, I think, the original idea for Colorful Madness, which was released first, but I think it's just a more purely fun module, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Both I of which by King Slendy. Thank you, King Slendy. Very cool. As you now taking a look at the Crystal Maze, which is based off a popular UK game show, you're going to be venturing through up to four different areas. You don't have to visit all of them, but every single one you get correct as a crystal, which gives you five more seconds in the dome to catch all the different... Uh, you want the gold to tickets, not the silver ones. Uh, yeah. They're all games of skill. He's already got two. Oh, he's going straight for it. Will you start the fans, please? He's looking That's for... a choice. Wow. Yeah, he's got balls of steel there. He's looking for 15 gold tokens. Before that time runs up, he might get green it. number to be 15. That's close. Oh, he got it. Yes. Yeah, just at the buzzer. Nice job, Asu. What a move. Yeah. I mean, consider there are, I would argue in, uh, Medieval Zone might be worth his time, but there was Industrial Future World. Aztec Zone is kind of... Uh, Aztec can be difficult. Time <laughs> sink. Yeah. But... Futuristic's easy, you just have to figure out if you're going to find all three of them matching, or all three of them different. And um, when it comes to industrial, it's just a small calculation based off the little serial number you see at the bottom right, or bottom left. Ten button color code's also a King Slendy module. Why'd I say, th sorry, Jerry. Sorry, Jerry, this is your module, Schlagden Bomb. <laughs> One moment in time. I'm going to get this kind of right taking a look at tax returns here. This can be a heartbreaker if you're off by a couple of quid. Oh, yeah. You have to be within one pound, I believe. Schlogged and bomb. What if you put in all that work but don't get it? Because there's no way to tell where your answer is wrong. Colorful insanity. What if you just can't find those pairs for the life of you? You've looked at those colors. They're all blending in your mind. So far, four to three is Sue. Procyon's got an answer coming in and is right. Nice. No late fees to worry about this time. Now taking a look at quintuples, which is usually a long read, but Procyon claims that they can um, take down both the colors and the numbers of every single one. It's, it's supposedly a really impressive feat. All that. 25, huh? Yeah, supposedly. Assume made the tax returns optimized sheet, incidentally. Yeah, um... They're all legal in League. Indeed. Anything on the Katain repository of manual pages is legal, which includes the very useful text field calculator. So two cerebral math modules in progress here. Procyon's also got lasers to their right here. That's the other solo I forgot about. Lasers? A lot of people oh, have started to solo lasers, believe it or not. Me personally, I haven't it's... learned it yet, but... It seems like it could genuinely be something you could learn because all the conditions are fairly straightforward. It's seven rules. I could see that. Especially on bombs this size where you can actually justify devoting the time to memorizing that manual offhand. I mean, just look at what Skyward did with Unfair Cipher. That man is crazy, I swear. Quintuple Sol from uh, Procyon there. Lasers, incidentally, was the module I quote-unquote coward from when defusing a bomb with Skyward. Yeah, that was uh, just a couple days ago. It was my bomb, wasn't it? <laughs> Good mission. MCA Turian abridged. As uh, if Espic is in the chat. <coughs> Bridge. That's a reference to a series Espic and I did together on his channel. Oh, I was wondering. I saw that. You saw the, uh, the flavor text and you were wondering where it came from? Yep, uh... I think I was playing a game with I was playing a Pokemon uh, game with us because whenever we would cross a bridge, we would say bridge. 
Pressing on going for a solution on lasers now, and it looks like... Ooh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh. One strike down, timer accelerates slightly. Asu ahead six to five on solves at the moment. Someone wrote me after last week and says, well, wait a minute, which ones have they solved? Pay attention to which difficult ones they have remaining, because maybe the solve count is not fully indicative of the full picture here. Oh, Procyon got Futuristic Zone wrong. So what do you do then in that case? Is Procyon, was Procyon only going to go for two crystals as well, like a Sue? It seemed like a particularly aggressive strategy. Indeed. One good thing about Crystal Maze is if you flop in the zones, you can at least leave the almost inevitable strike for later. Mm -hmm. Unless you strike in all four zones, in which case you just get a red light immediately. Yep. We now see the beauty of Asu's uh, Notepad++ plus plus for uh, Red Cipher, which is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a doozy. I wonder if anyone in EFM is still a pen and paper gang like I used to be. Yeah, I, I don't know. Even like some people like Rex. Rex Rex has stopped using pen and paper for a lot of his defusals, I think. I assume Rex will be in the that. chat. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rex. Uh... But yeah, Red got... Cypher, by the way, uses Playfair Cypher, Conjugated Matrix Bifid, and Tri-Square Cypher. Those are words. Thank you, Sean. Very cool. I mean... The man literally made his own cipher for the mod. Quite literally called Sean Cipher. <laughs> that was epic. That was in White Cipher, I believe. Procyon might equalize if they get this Schlagden bomb correct, though. Indeed. They will be slightly behind on time, but they can definitely make it up. And there's a one moment in time. Back going to Crystal Maze. Yeah, it looks like he's going for a um, medieval zone here. The goal is to figure out which digit of the uh, is it the bomb timer? I think it's the module timer that you want to module timer. Yeah, it's the module timer you want to toss a dart into that target there based on the colors. And there it is. Here's colorful insanity for a Sue. Can you spot the pairs? There's a pair of identical tiles which I've actually found, and uh, oh, there's a similar pair as well. Yeah, I found them both as well. Can you? They're find actually them in the right chat? next to each other. Indeed. I wonder if the chat can find them before I see this. Call it out. Be a hero. Procyon's got 15 on Crystal Maze. Just wow. Wow. Seven to six. Here comes lasers again. This time onto green and onto violet. And we're eight at, solves to six. Yeah, we're eight to six. Oh, Procyon doesn't want to make his life better. So he's now looking um, at all those symbols, and he's going to be clicking ones that the rules apply to. You'll be seeing a couple of them light up white in just a second as he clicks on them. Ideally white, anyway. Hopefully. A few colors he can use, only a few patterns he can use. Looks like it's going to be maybe a fairly it... short one, unless you just missed something. Or it's that terrifying rule where none of them appear, and you have to hit that Ooh. actual... And that might have been what he was trying. You have to hit the original pairs if no matches appear for the conditions, but that is not the case here. We now know. Procyon manages to solve a uh, close button there, finding the correct X. Hello, Cheap Checkout. I would like to commit assault and battery. Module listening where... Uh... Oh, Kudo Sudoku. Kudo Sudoku and... Uh... Turtle. Turtle robot, yep. And that is... Blockbusters. Yeah, Blockbusters. All fairly That's Blockbusters. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> um, number one like... is also a module and keep talking and nobody explodes. There's a lot of game show based modules. There's uh, Only Connect. A lot of them are let's British. To seven. Royal Flush went on a kick of creating game show modules, including Blockbusters and Crystal Maze. Yeah, there's Blockbusters, Only Connect, which was a Timwe module, um, uh, Number Wang, uh, Catchphrase, Crystal Maze, whole bunch more. The Sue's going for lasers here, <laughs> and striking on lasers in about the same spot Procyon did. Yeah, 
the funny thing about lasers, you can actually have multiple valid solutions just because of uh, the way the rules are calculated. So it could end up that they do have different solutions. Who strikes first two to one? Procyon's one, so Zeus Timer actually ticking down slightly faster here. He does have a I bit of a time advantage. I can't do the math that quickly to find out. Um, he does have a bit of a time advantage, so he might be able to gain some ground before his timer falls short of Procyon's. Um, but it looks like he's got it. Eight solves to nine. Once you get that sixth one, just keep the seventh one away from blue and you're dandy. Back to Insanity. Procyon's looking there as well. Under two minutes each. Can they find those rules? Well, we already know it's not the, uh, press the original pairs. Procyon now... Colorful gonna... Insanity came off the staff pick. Neither player was expecting it. It's a great module, and it's causing all kinds of problems right now. It Procyon does not need to solve at the moment. Quite literally, it is insanity. Procyon's got it. That's 10. That's 10. Module listening for the end. And there's Can they the get 20 stinger? buttons in time? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty definitive answer. Can they do it? <laughs> Can they do it? Flails around. Nah. Nah, so nine solves here. Red Cypher? Red Anything? Cypher? Did it not go for them? It'd be one solve to tie. I think they're looking to possibly guess based off of the answer they're getting. Because something tells me hurry. they didn't get a word. Ten seconds remaining on that bomb. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Oh, go quick. Charles. No. <laughs> Charl. <laughs> a singular Charl. A singular Charl. Procyon wins bomb one, ten to nine. Very good effort by both players there. That's about the high-end competition we were expecting out of this match, but now the advantage shifts over to a Sue for bomb number two. Seven off his list, Procyon gets three off theirs, and one more staff pick. What are we going to see on a Sue's list? A Sue's list this uh, tournament is 21, the close button. Uh, coffee Bucks, Colorful Dials, Console, a sort of adventure game clone, um, except with typing. DNA Mutation, Encrypted Equations, Encrypted Morse, I like that one. Logical Buttons, Masu, Module Listening, Nomai, the planets, as if we needed more planets, Roman Art, and Tax Returns. There's some quirky ones in here, including some that I'm not personally familiar with, such as DNA mutation. I had a look there. It's some yeah, it's a bit interesting. Knowing the big pairs offhand helps. Yeah, I think honestly, um, there are a couple easier ones on there. Like for example, twenty one is just a base converter, um, and there's coffee bucks, which is just can you determine which one has the highest point value off of pretty quick uh, preferences being read. So we'll ultimately be able to we'll ultimately be able to see just how much of a time advantage Asu has over Procyon in these modules that he's picked. Um, which ultimately I think will decide the fate of the bomb. And then there's no my which the manual literally encourages you to explore and try things. So shall we explore and see who wins the second bomb? I fully concur. Let us depart lost like that up up and away and now we hear uh, a suze audio and we're looking at i see an unfair cipher here. and a colorful dials and a mask all of them are here they're all here he says Un <laughs> unfair is there that's right uh cruel and stores were taken away from procyon not unfair we're seeing procyon already attacking uh 21 there and it looks like uh, we're seeing yeah, Langtons, which is a pseudo-solve-based module in which you have to find out a whole, discern a whole bunch of conditions to determine which direction you'll be turning the ant in and painting squares on. It can be a little bit difficult sometimes at first glance, but after you do a couple of them, the puzzle kind of solves itself. That's good, because there's no room for error. 21 quickly in for Procyon. Like Off I said, running. it's just a base converter. I have to turn here. Masu, we saw on the last bomb, the objective is to go straight through the white dots and turn at an angle through the black dots with a few other conditions involved and form a complete loop, which Asu does. 
now attacking 21. Will they? Will he get it as fast as Procyon did? I don't want to Yes, 9 plus 10 does equal 21. 21? You stupid! No, I'm not. Procyon going after logical buttons, the three stage module of which one is complete, indicated by that green light in the top left corner. I'm sorry. Was 9 plus 10. 21. Uh, no, don't do this. Beautiful. Um, looks like we saw Cruel, uh, I'm sorry, Cursed Double O as our staff pick there. Um, that one Ooh. is fairly interesting because usually Double O would just be a solo. However, in Cursed Double O, you have a couple conditions that make it a little bit harder to do. For example, you can never visit the same square twice. You can also not hit the same button twice in a row. Other than that, it's and basically the same. And you will inevitably get lost en route. Oh yeah, 100%. Um, so, you know, you will notice that um, the fake strikes will come in a lot Wait, more. And, ooh, serious? never mind, that's a real strike. Ten button color code can be a complete heartbreaker if you get it wrong, because it does not forgive any mistakes. At least it resets to the same configuration it was pre-strike. Don't tilt now. It's a two-stage module. Like I was saying about Curse Double O, um, though, because ultimately when you do solve Curse Double O, people are going to eventually uh, get more fake strikes than they would usually by finding the submit button in Double O, because anytime you fail one of its conditions, it will fake strike you. As long as you're not on zero, as before. But who's got the first stage of 10-button color code? Going for number two. And then here's DNA mutation involving edge work calculations and some manipulation based on DNA base pairs. You know, adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, Yeeper. that sort of thing. And that's a solve. We're now three to three, all tied up. asu has got the 10-button color code stuck with it. Now going for logical buttons. Got the first button quickly. fairly quickly. Wow, that was fast. Very, very quickly. Already he's submitting the second stage. Is an acceptable answer. That's absolutely brilliant. Zero. Thank and you, Victoria Corrin that. Mitchell. Very nice. <laughs> we love you, Victoria Corrin Mitchell. One of the few modules that plays the solve chime on every stage completion. And that was a quick solve. Four to four as Procyon also solves a module. I forget what he... I, I didn't catch what he, they did solve. They had defeated the machine. He had Here comes defeated the machine. returns again. There's that quirk I was mentioning. It's on both it's their lists, so it's on both or nothing, and it's on both of the first two bombs. There it is. Looks like, I'd uh, solve count. Yeah. One strike for a Sue. It looks like a Sue's going a lot faster in terms of getting down the digits, though. Will that hurt him, or will that help him? We'll find out. As long as you don't add too quickly. There's definitely been more than one time where I will accidentally hit two numbers instead of one on a tax return, and it killed me. Seems like just lots of digits to misplace, potentially. Oh, yeah. But essentially, yes, you have to add up all the turnover. You have to add up all the expenses uh, uh, and consider information about tax yes, brackets yes, and all no. that stuff. And they're doing this, um, oh, right before tax day, May 17th. Oh, yeah. And... Well, actually, this was week four, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Americans, file your taxes. File your taxes, Americans, uh, please. Which one delete this one? Nobody likes having to have the IRS come knocking no, at their door. One. Except for this one, it would be, uh, who are the British, uh, uh, HM Revenue and Zoo. Customs. Ooh, it looks like oh, it. didn't submit it. That, yeah, I didn't submit it. I, f I feel like they, he might not think he was super confident in it. Procyon is also, uh, going away from that tax. Why rush it, though? You got a five-strike limit. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it either. It's not like it's going to strike you. Asu's looking at encrypted more. So Asu is in the same club I am of the binary grid really should be that red and green flasher. It was cooler that way. Yeah. From the original version of the module. 
A lot of people have different methods of solving um, Curse Double O. Me personally, I like to use the method like up left up, because um, that way you can find kind of the direction of where every button goes. Um, but other people like to just do every button once. How do you think you would approach it? I like the alternation method better because then you have establish a direction more so rather than having to split your brain in four different directions and have to consider four different movements. Yeah. There's a suit got encrypted Morse. Oh, there's so much stuff. That is a league module to a T because if you know a good solving strategy for encrypted Morse, you can read seven, four, three, the seven. flashes in a much more efficient time. And Asu taking full advantage there. I did not see how Asu pressed those buttons. Was it the alternation strategy or was it the uh, all four? Uh, I and my eyes seven, turned seven, as well, seven, I confess. Four. Someone in the ca chat will go. catch it. <laughs> First double O for each. Is Procyon on the right zero here? Probably not, otherwise they'd be mashing the submit button by now. Nope. Damn it. Seven, four. But it's a, a funny nine by nine. So. Go ahead. If you do pass over the correct zero, you can't go back to it. So you have to make sure that you don't accidentally go there. And they found it. Got it! Nice. What were you saying about uh, Curse Double? Uh, I forget my original thought, but just it's significant. It's easy to get lost in that maze if you just can't find the line. Yeah, 9 by 9 grid. Now attacking uh, ten button color code there. That's the module who got the strike on. A lot of people definitely have a love hate relationship with ten button color code just because of how ruthless it can be sometimes. It's a fussy module. It's the right amount of fussy for being an enjoyable challenge, in my opinion. I've seen so many people leave it on challenge bombs to like the last module just because they hate it so much. Rosian's got the first stage first try though. Better than uh, Sue was doing. We'll see how it goes though. Still a second stage. Let's see. Time advantage is growing now as that early strike is starting to become significant. But CDO first comes double in for the Sue. And he's ahead. Yeah. How about Procyon's 10-button color code? Will that tie it up? Now taking a look at Unfair, um, one thing to note, just because I don't think um, any of the people watching, unless they've been a part of the League, will understand why mo the module ID is already at 2, even though we haven't seen Unfair before. Um, most likely that is because on the test bomb that all the players have to run to show um, the lovely panda that their game works properly, there was an Unfair Cypher present. So they're going to need to keep that in mind, um, because the answer will change based on how many times you've seen Unfair yeah, Cypher before. Rosian got the 10-button color code, and yes, that technical specs are important to make sure the modules are properly duplicated. Though there is an interesting wrinkle to Unfair Cypher. Oh, it's based on month anyway, so it doesn't matter. It, it has a date-dependent component, but it's really a month-dependent component, so that's totally fine. Nobody modules really like Playfair Cypher, which was Mac's original module, where it changes by weekday, not allowed, because you can't properly duplicate it. Similar to Cheap Checkout. That's not allowed either, because there are different discounts on different days. Make up your mind. Please give me more money. If you do not give me more money, I will slap you. <laughs> that poor cashier. Why are they Why are they still working there after all the abuse they've taken? The goal is to just commit as much assault and battery as possible before eventually submitting your two week. <laughs> the worst form of haggling. <laughs> Tie solve count here, both on cerebral modules here. Length and Xan for Procyon, unfair cipher for a Sue as Procyon goes to work here and starts coloring in. I would say it's very interesting that Procyon's going for the solve at six. Most people will try to go for a prime number of unsolved modules remaining, which would mean either they do it first or they do it uh, as the ultimate module. Get. And they got it, though. Now seven to six. Okay. Also avoided to this point is Colorful Dials, a Sean module. Unfair Cypher here. Uh, I will confess, I don't necessarily know that much about how the Dials modules work. Unfair Done. Uh, Numerical, uh, Digital Dials, I think it's called, is a much uh, more accessible introduction to the series. Scalar Dials is the least accessible, but if you got perfect pitch, go for it. 
Or like even relative pitch. Positions. If you get an A in your head, you can do anything. Uh, My dad oh, no, is no, 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 no. impeccable so soul edge or do re mi fa yes. note yep, no. recall abilities, no. which is incredible. Two, Maybe he I, could help me with intervals on. sometime. Oh, yeah. I, I've got relative pitch, so as long as you give me an A before I solve an intervals, I can do it. <laughs> nice. A Sue is running low on time here. Can he get an eighth solve in? This is, this is Lime. Remember, his solution will vary because he's doing it on a different solve count. I remember Asu was telling me that they he, that he literally memorized Langton's ant solutions for this very five. moment. It's got to pay off here. Asu, I think, arguably needs to solve. I'm pretty sure Procyon will get another. Oh, no! Ooh, no! He's got one, probably one time for one more input. You gotta try, you gotta keep at it, you got strikes to give, you don't really have time to give. That stinger. Did he misremember a pixel? That black might have been it. There it is! Yes. Eight solves. What a save! What a save. What, what, what? There's three? There's three. <laughs> Nine Whoa, solves! I nearly missed Whoa. that. Oh! Nine solves! How that? There it is! And oh. people said I was the only clutch diffuser in this league. Nice job, Asu! Now swap caliber competition. Oh yeah. Is group, C, group of death MCD. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now swapping over to Procyon's audios. We see him attacking colorful dials. Needs two solves. Of course, they don't know that yet. <laughs> they gotta paint in those dials. They gotta set them to the right initial numbers. Use these confusing grids that wrap over the edge, and you are easy to get lost on. Looks like they're making progress on it. Got the first dial, I believe. Going for the second now. Strikeless to this point, will it be significant? Procyon already won the first bomb by a module. Asu now two up on his own module. On his own bomb, rather. Winning this bomb would mean the win of the match for Procyon. So we'll see how it ends up coming for her. How do they get two solves in this short amount of time, though? That's the question. Do they have any solves queued, perhaps? I saw them looking at Unfair before. They might have it. Yeah, weren't they? Minute 20 to go. I think they're double-checking their answer, but I don't know if they have time to double-check. Honestly, the the entire league thing, you have to you have to wonder what the strategy is. Do you value your time more or do you value your solve count more? One minute to go here. If Procyon ties on nine solves, the bomb is drawn, in which case Procyon would be guaranteed at least a tie in the match. We'll see there how we go. things end up going. Will they get eight or nine? Forty seconds, we're gonna have to have a guess soon. Oh no, Yaba. Did they make the right choice in going for this module? Clearly the encrypted Morse was significant because Asu did it so quickly and Procyon didn't do it at all. I don't know. That's what I was mentioning about that time advantage. Oh, and it's wrong! <laughs> and they're striking out the bomb. That's a given. <laughs> Asu wins bomb two, nine to seven. That clutch means... moment at the end. Which means we have to go Dude. to a bomb three! Asu got nine solves on each of those bombs with very different outcomes. Well, not much more to say at this point, MCD. Um, five modules coming off each of their list. One more staff pick. I think the only thing we have to say is good luck to both of the players. Let's get going. We're in for a good one, folks. Here we go. Why am I getting multiple? Consider their record. Asu only one loss. Procyon zero losses. Swapping back to Procyon's audio here to finish it out. Two encrypted equations! <laughs> Hello. Taking a look oh. at some repeats here. Um, we are taking a grasp at um, 21. Um, I see. I saw another uh, quintuples. Those are going to be our duplicates. And um, the reason why you're seeing two encrypted equations is the fact that Procyon uh, it's on, I believe. Yeah, I should I should explain something. You saw that red light flash up on Nomai, ah, yeah. but that is a deliberate mechanic of the module, and that's a fake strike. Ah, yes. Only in rare circumstances is it a, is it a real strike. It's very similar to Double O in that sense. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but like I was saying, uh, the reason why you're seeing two cryptid equations there is because there's one on Asu's list and also one on the uh, staff pick list for the week. So lucky him. Yeah. Normally, if that if that wasn't the case and there were just genuinely two, we would have to reroll the entire bomb. Quick life iteration solve from Procyon. But an equally the quick point, possible solve? Being a... 21? Yeah? I'm sorry. I can yeah. imagine life iteration being a module where you gain a lot of time here. Oh, fake yeah. Fake strike on Nomai. Lots of fake strikes on Nomai. You're going to be seeing red lights flash a lot on Asu's screen while he goes for it. Console's a fairly interesting module as um, it's very similar to Adventure Game, except it's a lot more of a meme. I know for one time I said I had um, it was Kanye West defeated an armadillo in your mom. Oh, the flavor's fantastic on that module. Oh, yeah, that's a bland module, isn't it? Bland. Happy birthday, bland. Quick. Uh... Procyon crunches out a DNA mutation, pun intended. Oh yeah. Asu going for um, a tactic we haven't seen in a while on Life Iteration. I think the last time we saw something similar to this was um, um, in actually the very first week in James versus Benjamin. We saw, I believe it was Benjamin used uh, mm -hmm. the snipping tool. Nice to see the tactic brought back. Procyon dialing in 21. Two solves apiece in a tied match. What's 9 plus 10? 21, apparently, and Procyon's ahead. Crystal Maze, another repeat that we're seeing here. Uh, will they get futuristic right this time? Yes, they will. Not that Procyon needed the help last time, but that'll be helpful this time. I think Asu might be going for the same strategy as Asu now has two crystals. Will he take it? Each crystal is five seconds of time in the dome. Remember, a suit jumped on into the dome at two crystals, and it was a good tactic. Procyon's got two crystals themselves now. Will they use Asu's tactic, or will they go for a third? Again, I think three crystals is safest, but we'll see. Any way to gain a time advantage, even though we know it wasn't a time advantage at all that determined the first two bombs. Will you stop the fans, rate... please? Remember, we need 15 gold after deduction of silver. Green number in the middle needs to be 15 in four seconds, or else yes. And he's got Athu's it. He's got it. Three all. Now, how I believe life iterations work is you actually have to do multiple um, generations of the Conway's Game of Life um, mm -hmm. puzzle. So in this case, I believe since you see four, you'd be doing the fourth generation. Very simple premise, very difficult execution. Unless you're Procyon, apparently, given the speed of that solve. That was insane, man. Ah, we're snapshotting each generation, are we? Very clever. Well, let's uh, see a chance to, you know... Here comes Quintuples, the yes! There's a quick Quintuple. Quintuples. And another will you stop the fans, please, over on Procyon's side. On two crystals! Is that the meta? That might be the meta. Maybe not on a big bomb, say, but in League? And they got it. Not a single silver to Clean. be had. Clean. Four to three now, uh, as the Sue's looking at one of the two encrypted equations. So those are actually representing numbers and uh, operations. Usually it's the symbols inside the different shapes that represent the numbers and then a modifier, which is the shape itself. You might have like multiplied by two, for example. The absence of a shape around November is noteworthy in that case. The N, the letter N at the end there. Sorry, NATO habits die hard. Oh, yeah, I, I know, for example, I've said it way too many times. I'll be in this school. game. It, MCD, this game ruins you. It, it, it you screws just... with your head. Like anytime I say a single letter, no matter what, it's just a NATO now. <laughs> and then Kevin is just like, uh, hey, I want to play modded Katane. And he's just like, wait, what was that? <laughs> I said November. Huh? <laughs> Procyon's credit, taking Kevin's a, a fast learner. Oh yeah, he is. I, I gotta give him credit. Uh, Procyon's taking a look at bridges in which each of those is going to represent a number, and that number is going to be the solution to the bridge's answer, which is basically how many bridges have to be connected to said symbol. 
Um, usually in the original Bridges puzzle, you just see the numbers, but it's contained. We have to make it a little bit difficult. Based on a classic logic puzzle and not at all based on the card game called <clears throat> Bridge. <laughs> nice. Good one. Aspic, if you're in the chat, you know what to do. Bridge. And it looks like that was a Bridges solve. Um, but yeah, I know there have been some times where I'll just be playing Hangman and then uh, someone will say, call out a letter. I'll be like, Echo. And they're like, what? Echo. E. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Contain a Tsukigal console here, Procyon, on one copy of Encrypted Equations. There's Simon Sends off to their right and Nomai right beneath. Me personally, I would love to use Dehumidifier against Big Bird. This one's for you, Carol Spinney. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Uh... Holla, holla, get dollar. Lots of variables here and the various weapons and items reference them, just like an adventure game. The big blue sea. Like seas. Charlie's. Ninety-six point five. That's the answer we saw on the Sue's side. This is definitely a very uh, thinky, sit down and ponder sort of bomb. Fair to say. Yeah, it, it, you know, it generates. If there was a bomb, if there was an emoji we could use um, to uh, describe this bomb, it would just be the thonk emoji. Thonk. Thonk. <laughs> hmm. Strike a boom special for you. <laughs> Strike a boom. The original Twitch plays. Oh yeah. Admin. Strike uh, Boom no, that, had so many. The actual thonking yeah. Twitch plays admin with respect to Lucas Seven Yoshi and others. And Ryan and Ader. Ryan and Ader. Panda himself actually hosted Twitch plays for a while. Mmm. By the way, quick shout out to Panda. Thank you as always for hosting this amazing league. We love you. And you can find the Contain League Discord in the main contain server that's a solve on console that blue screen is a solve light i believe i uh, was it is it big bird defeated au um in the big blue sea or is it the other way around we'll find out <laughs> i'd like to buy a vowel <laughs> i'd like to buy oh, a wait. vowel this is pbs the uh vowels have to be free ah yes yes indeed <laughs> Would like to buy a vowel. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Procyon cranking up that Simon Sends knob so that the lights display faster. It's a few notches faster than I would do it personally. Yeah, I think it. Well, I mean, to be it's fair. Bad, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't stop that uh, unless you learn it. Uh, but I know, for example, Espic uh, cranks it up a couple notches. Me personally, I don't even understand the module. No, I do. Uh, I just always screw it up because counting maybe we'll see a seizure intensity uh setting if someone just gives up on the module <laughs> maybe put a disclaimer in post if that's gonna happen oh yeah i will <laughs> but it looks like we won't have <laughs> so to worry about it with procyon. with procyon we won't have to worry about it with procyon as they're inputting uh a string of colors there that is additive color mixing so it's gonna also display that in morse code so, for example, that triple red flash at the end uh, represents a single dash um, of the red flash. Submitting both their equations, equations. Here they come. Yes. And yes. yes. Nine to four. Nine Pro to seal. four. Wow. Now it's Did I say lucky as two? Uh, what was that? I said lucky as two. It was off his list. Yeah. Not so fast. And it looks like we're going to be seeing, um, I believe it's console and the last module. I, I saw it. I just can't remember what it is. Um, 
Look at how fast Procyon types. That's not that's not half bad. Yeah. Play some type racer with the guy. The vetoes being off of uh, a Sue's list, I believe, are Coffee Bucks and what else was Vito? And Roman Art. I beg your pardon. I never mentioned that. Roman Art Roman and Coffee Art. Bucks. That's right. Hey, good. We don't have to censor anything today. <laughs> I never caught that uh, Sue solved no my, but... It's product of its time, Bible Thump. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the module that Procyon has left besides console. It's no my. Mmm. That could be a bit of a heartbreaker. Just try it and see. It's a module of experimentation. That that's not a word, experiment. <laughs> I'm gonna be lapidated for that one. As soon needs to experiment in a hurry down down <laughs> four, quintuple solve. <laughs> We're looking for that quintuple solve, um, but it is a fairly long read unless you're Procyon. 3.15 remaining, how much time does he have? I don't know. Well, I answered that question, but encrypted equations, did he get around to that? I think he's got them queued? It could be. We could start seeing a flood here. This could be a case of just holding on to submissions here, so just because it says 9 forward for Procyon, unless Procyon finishes and console is on track here, but then it's no my, so... I wonder if we'll see a diffusal, a diffusal or not. I wonder if either of them. That would be. We wouldn't be seeing a diffu if we if neither of them diffuse. We won't be seeing a diffusal all uh, all match. Well, that's what happens when you put a bunch of heavy hitters on your list. It might be part of the reason they've also done so well because they've mastered very high end modules and just it's deserve definitely. their place in the standings. Oh yeah, it's definitely impressive. But as it is, Procyon on a perfect record is on course currently for a defense of that. Tied 1-1 in this match on the third bomb. Two minutes remain. Procyon having submitted a number of items here. Asu having looked at that quintuples. And is entering it. Ooh. Are we gonna one see digit one five time, one perhaps. four? That's ten for Procyon. On to Nomai now. Give we're it looking... a shot. Nomai was off of a Sue's list, not one Procyon's comfortable with. We're looking for one five one four on that quintuples. And it looks like are we gonna get it? That's the correct answer already there. But it looks like he's holding on to it. Yeah, and it looks like he's got the oh, yeah. solves queued. There's pre submissions. There's pre submissions. Is Procyon going to get there on Nomai, though? That's the question. Looks like Asu hasn't gotten his uh, Simon Sens read yet. No danger yet. You've got a minute to go here. How much does Asu have uh, cashing in? It looks like he'd be cashing right. of encrypted equations, which we already saw is correct based off of Procyon's answers. Um, quintuples is also correct. That would be three solves. That would take him up to seven, but he would need three more to at least tie. That's one solve. All right. Here that's comes encrypted equations. Solves. Maybe. That's three solves? Four solves? That's, that's eight. Five solves? <laughs> Six solves? Sends? Tens? Are we going to see a diffusal? Are we going to see a tie? Are we going to see a tie or a diffusal? What's it going to be? Both players now getting the stinger. I don't know. How, I don't know if you can fluke a Sends. I don't I, know. I really don't know about Nomai. Oh, oh what a team. The green light flickered. Oh no, it's getting so close. It's down to the wire. We're looking at 15 seconds apiece. Neither of them have a single strike. Procyon's putting in a Nomai. Asu's going for a Simon I'm Sends. Yes. Nine seconds. Asu's on pace. He's on pace to enter it. Triple run, he's yes. got it. He's got it and Asu wins the match with that final bomb down to the wire. You want to talk about Clutch MCD, what a solve on the coming, end by Asu. Coming, the match 2 to 1. Coming from the person who got a FMN with 0 .07 seconds remaining, I can single-handedly say that is a Clutch defusal right there. And I coming cannot be prouder. Rival. Maximum respect. Maximum respect to Asu and Procyon as well. Well fought, valiant effort. MCD, I think the moment speaks for itself here. You can see it on the binders there, a microcosm of 
the outcome so close every step of the way and just by a matter of inches one defusal one not and that's the difference and that means Asu is guaranteed a spot in the playoffs as well as Procyon as well because they have the same record um, so it will come down to whoever has the third highest record in group C which is not me <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Procyon joins the Sioux in the one loss club at that point. Yeah, so they I, they will make it so nobody will be undefeated in Group C. I just love asymmetry, basically, where one person comes all the way back from the start here. It makes for an exciting end. I guess I just like asymmetry in general, which is why I like Katane being an asymmetrical co-op game. By the way, you should get it. There, full <laughs> circle. Full circle, Katane, uh, keeptalkinggame.com. I think that's all I have to say, MCD. I think that's all I have to say as well, except for the fact that we have to talk about what's coming up in the league. So, yes, indeed. Moving on forward, we're going to be seeing a bit of week six EFM action. I believe uh, we're going to hear from our friends Espic and Caleb as they're going to be commentating you through uh, a match called Zerodi versus Cookie Apocalypse, which is going to be a week seven. Uh, I'm sorry, a week six match. And we will also at some point be seeing Crazy Caleb versus Teppel which is also another week set six match. And then it'll be down to the wire as the team finals exist, where myself, Asu, um, username and makebow go head to head against Procyon, Espic, Caleb, and Vincology. Kind of ironic that um, it's the two teams in the finals that we're uh, commentating this week, uh, you know, with Asu being part of negative creativity and Procyon being stay crazy, stay cruel. Well, I guess you know what you're talking about. Yeah. But we've got a whole bunch of exciting action left in this league, not to mention the playoffs coming soon for the EFM division. Until best then, though. Best way to not miss it is to subscribe to Panda. Panda, right we there. love you. Do it. Do it. Hit the red button. Make it turn black. With that being said, All right. Yaba, you want to take us out of here? Sounds good. We will see you next time for more EFM and team action. Team finals. More EFM matches. Looking forward to it. Until then, good night! Bye-bye!